In this example, we're going to take a look at solving this radical equation. And probably right off the bat, you notice here we have a square root, and here we have a cube root. And there's actually a term as well, this negative 2, outside of any of those radical expressions. So if you'd like to try this problem first on your own, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work a solution together. Okay, so looking at this problem, I think the best bet here is to use a u substitution and go ahead and get rid of one of these radicals to begin with. So I'm going to say that u equals this entire right side, this cube root of 3x minus 1. Which now, if we were to solve for x here, we would cube both sides. And we'd see that. And then let's add 1 and divide by 3. So we can add 1 and divide by 3. And that's going to be our value of x right there as well. So here we have uh, u in terms of x and x in terms of u. So let's go ahead and now look at this. So the right side of my equation becomes just u. And then how can we rewrite this square root expression so it's now in terms of u? Well, it's going to be the square root of, so 3x. So 3 times the x value. So 3 times this. Well, 3 times that, that's nice because those 3's will cancel. So it's just going to be u cubed plus 1 and then plus 7. So we could just say u cubed plus 8. And then one more thing, let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides to get that guy away from that radical. So we have this square root term isolated, this square root of u cubed plus 8, and it equals u plus 2. Okay, so we can square both sides in order to get rid of that square root, and that's nice because the square and the square root cancel. So u cubed plus 8 equals... And then we have this binomial, u plus 2, and we're going to square it. So u squared plus 4u plus 4. And it looks like now we have a really nice polynomial equation. So let's go ahead and move all the terms to the left side of the equation. Set that equal to 0. So u cubed minus u squared minus 4u. And then 8 minus 4 is plus 4 equals 0. And it also appears here that factor by grouping is going to work really well to factor this. So out of this first pair, let's factor a u squared out, and we'll have u minus 1. And out of the second pair, let's factor a minus 4 out, so we'll have u minus 1 again. These leftovers are the same, so I can factor that out. And I have the u squared minus 4, which is a difference of squares. So this just factored really, really nicely. All right, so I have three factors here, and I'm multiplying them all together, and it equals zero. So I can use my zero property of multiplication, which just says, you know, one of these kind of has to be zero. So let's account for all of them, and we'll just set each of these factors equal to zero and solve them all independently. So we have u equals positive one, positive 2, and negative 2. So three possible values here that are going to work. So let's change all these u's back to, it to in terms of x. So x equals u cubed plus 1 divided by 3. So I'll rewrite that here. So x equals u cubed plus 1 divided by 3. And then let's go ahead, just do 1 at a time. So when u equaled 1, 1 cubed is 1 plus 1 is 2, so 2 thirds. So x equals 2 thirds. All right, how about when u equals positive 2? Well, 2 cubed is 8, plus 1 is 9, divided by 3, so x equals 3, and that's nice. And finally, u equals negative 2. Negative 2 cubed is negative 8, plus 1 is negative 7, so x will be negative 7 thirds. Okay, so three possible values. So we need to plug each one of these into our original equation to see if we have any extraneous solutions, you know, what works and what doesn't. So we'll go ahead and rewrite our original equation. So the square root of 3x plus 7, well, from that we'll subtract 2, and that's going to equal this cubed root of 3x minus 1. So let's go one at a time. So we'll try x equals 2 thirds first. So 3 times 2 thirds is, well, 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. Square root is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 
Okay, so we have a 1 on that left side. 3 times 2 thirds, well, still 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. Cube root is 1. So we see that x equals 2 thirds is indeed a solution. It works. So let's move on to x equals 3 next. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 7 is 16. Square root is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So 3 times 3 is 9, minus 1 is 8. Cube root is 2. So 2 equals 2. So 3 also works. So finally, let's try this negative 7 thirds value for x. So 3 times negative 7 thirds is, well, negative 7, plus 7 is 0, square root is 0. So then we just have negative 2 over there on that left side. And on the right, 3 times negative 7 thirds, well, still negative 7, minus 1 is negative 8, cube root is negative 2. Hey, all three of these values work. So the solution then for this equation, x equals 2 thirds, negative 7 thirds, and positive 3. So there we go. And the way we solved this was by using a nifty little u substitution in order to get rid of one of these radicals. We got it down to just the square root, which we isolated, squared both sides. Had really quite a nice polynomial equation here, which factored beautifully. We turned all these u values back into x values. We checked them all, and they actually all worked. So again, here is that solution.